Hey everybody, Dr. Baker here. Uh, this is not gonna be one of those YouTube videos where I'm interviewing chicks like, would you like circumcised or uncircumcised? Go, like th th that's not what this video is. So if that's what you're looking for, sorry. This is more of a, uh, hey, I think everybody does this because they just don't know any different and or there's just this common uh, thread that that's just the way it is. And so, uh, question becomes, do you circumcise your baby or not? And did you do it based upon stuff you learned and understood? Or were you doing it just because that's what you think everybody does? And so without crossing that TMI bridge, uh, my parents believed in circumcision. Anyway, so when I was going to have a baby, we found out, we didn't know whether it was going to be a boy or a girl. So we started the conversation like, hey, if it's a boy, what are we going to do? And I, I just... I, th I said, well, we're going to circumcise, duh, because I remember in high school, we would see the guy that was uncircumcised in the locker room. I used to play football, so I was around a bunch of naked dudes, and I'm sure you guys have been there, and be like, oh, he's got an anteater. <laughs> like, we would joke about it. Like, for some reason, there was like this weird stigma, like you got to like lift it up and clean your schmegma. And I used to make fun of my buddy that was uncircumcised, and looking back, I have no idea why. I, I've never personally seen one when it went like that, but I've been told it looks the exact same. Everything works the same way. So as I start to look into this, I, I watched a video and that's what really pushed it over the edge for me. And so I'm going to talk about this because of really two things. And I'm going to tell you in a couple of minutes at the end of this short video, the two reasons why I'm talking about circumcision, but I watched a video of it and they had this little like plastic mold and they stick the kid in there they stick the little boy in there and they literally strap him down and so he's, he's strapped up like crossed like that and then these like medieval like contraptions like suck his penis up pull his foreskin off of the the glands penis which is not supposed to be pulled off at that point and then the dude just starts cutting it and so i was like there's no way i'm putting my kid in one of those things and letting him start chopping on his penis and so I was like, well, let me do some, let me do some, some market research. So let me start asking some people. So I contact a couple of my friends that are uncircumcised and I go, Hey, is it true? Do you have to clean your schmegma? Like, is it true? You got to like peel it back. And like, is it like, does it high maintenance with, with your kids like that? And they both had kids that they both had two or three, maybe one of them had four boys that was, they were all uncircumcised. And they're like, no, dude, I've never had any issues with it whatsoever. Um, Never had to peel it back and clean it. Doesn't smell weird. Doesn't look weird. There's nothing wrong with my kids. Uh, totally normal. And then it dawned on me. Wait a second. One of my found, like one of the f fundamental principles that everything I talk about rides on, is this premise of as intended. Like how is it supposed to be? And so I got to ask myself. Like if God intended me to not have foreskin, wouldn't He have like created me without foreskin? Isn't that how we would be born? So those two things alone for me were enough. I just went, hey, how is it supposed to be? Uh, someone said, no, it's not high maintenance and it looks horrible. We're good. So we didn't do it. And watching a relative of mine, not going to talk about who they are, but babies about the exact same age, they got their baby circumcised. And I saw his penis after circumcision and it was like not good looking. Um, and talk about maintenance, like having to clean it and like keep it like it's it's a wound like you go from a normal thing where it's just penis under skin to like an exposed wound and circumcision is the number one surgery in the united states and and 99.9% .9 of the time it's not because of religion it's because we just think that's what you're supposed to do and there's this like there's this common like thought pattern that like an uncircumcised penis is weird or it smells funny or something i, I don't know i can't speak to that but I looked a little farther and I found out that they're actually using foreskin, little baby foreskins, to make anti-aging cream. So the foreskin has what's called fibroblast, fibroblastic cells in it, and it's the top ingredient in making the creams that, that a lot of women are using, or men, for their face to help the aging process. And I also found another page where they're talking about how they use foreskins in order to develop vaccinations. And so I'm sitting there going, wait a second, wait a second, there's something that, that's missing here. Why would everybody just be duped into doing something without really researching it and just kind of be passed on as the norm and we have to, ha well, wait, oh, figured it out. They make money off of it. And so they make money off of you not asking questions. They make money off of you thinking that it's a tradition you have to keep doing because your, your dad and your grandpa all got their, you know, what cut off. 
So here's my thing. If you're a dad, if you're a mom that's uh, pregnant, going to be pregnant, going to have babies, you have a friend that's on the verge of having a baby, uh, share this video with them, tag them on this. This is not like a, hey, or do you prefer circumcision? Women? There you go. Answer. This is not, hey, who's got their, you know what cut? This is a, just so you know, there's a bigger picture here. There's an agenda. They're using foreskin to make money, um, a lot of money. And so there's a reason why it needs to be the absolute norm and why you're going to be weird if you go against the norm. So think about those things before you decide whether or not to circumcise. Watch the video. I put a link on there for a documentary. And just look into it. And just ask yourself, how was it supposed to be? And then make the decision based upon what I would consider education, not just being a sheep. See you around.